Hey, so I found this thing called the uh, antipodes map. On the left side, you input your uh, your coordinates or something, and on the right side shows exactly to the coordinates as if there was a tunnel going through the Earth, showing the exact other side of the Earth. So right here on the left side, we have the Giza pyramids, and on the right, we have somewhere in the middle of the ocean. If we zoom out, they follow together, as you can see. And um, go over here just a little bit. There's these islands right here. Rapaiti. And um, there's not much here. They split the image. Found that interesting. And again, it's Google, and they screw you all the time. But islands in the absolute middle of nowhere, but there happens to be civilization there. I just think that's always interesting when you see that. Um, but what I did is I put the coordinates on the left side for CERN, and on the right side, it gave me the coordinates to another spot in the middle of the ocean, which is right here coordinates you can read at the top of the top left right there and um, that's too bright there we go anyways I just think it's funny how Google Earth if you can tell see all this fuzzy blue this blue stuff right here and then this super sharp imagery right here that's how Google do how, how Google how Google do you but if you zoom out, this is the exact other side of the Earth according to the coordinates of CERN, by the way. Uh, New Zealand is just to the left of this. But I was trying to find anything at all that had anything to do with CERN, any connections at all. New Zealand's up here, by the way, but yeah. If it had anything to do with CERN at all, and um, I found these islands called Pitt Island and Chatham Island. And um, again, there's nothing on this island, but I swear this island's like totally barren and there's like nothing here, right? Noth Why would anything even be here? It's just, um, wait a second, what's that a road? A single road on the island and, and then you keep zooming and there's like freaking houses and like, it's just weird to me, like... Am I the only person that finds that weird? If you go to Google Earth and you find the most like totally desolated, like there ain't nothing on that island type of island, you might find something there. It's just it's crazy how this, how there's these strange little pockets of things. But I just wanted to point out how retarded real quick Google is. And I know they're bad and stuff with their with their shit, but like, this is a prime example of how, how Google fucks us over. See all these dots right here? You know what that is? What these dots are? See, Google has layers. They have, if you know Photoshop and layers, they have elevation reading satellites, thermal stuff, and the normal satellites and then map aligning things all the all the imagery that we see is all layered upon layer upon layer what these holes are this big blue all this blue crap that's just like a mask it's a mask layer um what if you were using photoshop terms and these holes are them erasing the mask and revealing what they actually have you know hidden beneath it's just so stupid and like all this all these little like google 2015 watermarks it's just bullshit and then this fuzzy little like half-assed clarity thing it's just come on now man. it's just ridiculous but i looked up the chatham islands and um on wikipedia uh just to see if there's anything interesting and it says um there's some stuff about it and she talks about people living there or whatever, but uh, it has officially been part of New Zealand since 1842 and it includes the country's easternmost point, 
the 44s, which is funny because 44 is half of 88, and CERN is probably fucking with time. So there you go, enter the stars. But if anybody is uh, interested in um, finding out, it's seeing if there is anything exactly on the other side of anything else out there who know about ley lines and shit, check out this this thing. It's You can find it at www.findlatitudeandlongitude.com slash antipode map. Anyways, there you go, and uh, thanks for watching.